you not see that? A lot of comics like to start with their own jokes. I'd like to start with someone else's. My aunt is pretty sick, and it was one of her wishes to have her favorite joke told during a set on a TV taping. Is it cool if I do it really quick? Yeah, thank you guys very much. That's awesome of you guys. <clears throat> mm, you have a pussy fart on a bus, and the driver's like, damn, that pussy smell weird. And she's like, that, that, that dick smell weird. Your dick smells weird. I travel a lot. <laughs> I was just in Washington, D.C. And you know that when you check into a hotel room, that exciting moment, like when you first open the door, and you're like, where's the bed gonna be? Where's the windows? What if the bed's near the windows? This has never happened to me before. I open the door to the hotel room, and in the darkness, the maid is sitting alone at the desk, <laughs> staring at me. And I, I go, I go, oh, hello. And she doesn't say hello back. She just walks by me and goes, just be careful. I was like, what did you do in there? Can other people see you? I wanted to go to the front desk so they'd be like, maid, there hasn't been a maid here in 25 years. What? I fell the other day. I had a good old fashioned American falling down on the ground. You guys done that? It was weird, I walked up to a street corner really casually, took out my phone real casual-like, and I was gonna do one of those leaning on a lamppost. You know those things that no one does? But there was no lamppost, and I just casually fell over. And I was so shooken up that on my way down, I yelled, wait, to no one. I just went, wait, 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 and just fell, and I fell on my back like a child. And then I got up and I was so shaken up still, I walked back in the direction I came from. So to someone watching, it looks like I came there just to do that. Like that's my day. Like you know Crazy Barry comes to a street corner every day, takes out his phone real casual like, yells wait to nobody. Then he goes home. I like watching people. I saw this, I was at a restaurant. This woman was ordering next to me. And she goes, I'll have the tilapia plate. She does that with her hand. The tilapia plate with extra fish sauce. She does that with her hand. Fish sauce. The waiter's like, what? And she's like, fish sauce. Fish sauce. That taught me two things. Number one, I hate that woman. And number two, how much fun it is to order things and not have your hand motions match what you're ordering. It's like, yeah, I'll have the uh, turkey club. Yeah, with some lettuce. And some mayo, is that cool? Some mayo. Can I have some mayo? Some mayonnaise. Mayo, mayo. Oh, you know what? Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. This happened, I was staring at a baby on the subway and the baby stared back at me and it wouldn't break eye contact. And I didn't want to lose, so I didn't break eye contact. So I'm just staring at a baby and the baby's staring back at me and its parents are getting uncomfortable, but I'm like, no, no, you're gonna stare at me, I'm gonna stare at you like an adult. And I stared at it and then it did the most amazing thing I've ever seen. While still staring at me, it pulled out a cookie from under its butt. I don't know where this cookie came from held up the cookie, still looking at me, crumbled the cookie, like, oh, you did this to me! Then threw the cookie on the ground, and I looked away. Because I was like, who is this evil Kaiser Soze baby? Who's like, I killed what I love to prove a point that I hate you. Fuck that baby. All right, guys, thank you very much. Very awesome.